Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who chose each other to create a life with. You don't have to have a ceremony to have a marriage. And when you think about it, the whole thing is kind of weird, right? You're standing up here with me, looking fancy, holding flowers, and being stared at by a bunch of people that are important to both of you. So why do we do it? The marriage ceremony has been an important feature across nearly every culture, religion, generation, and society. We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is regarded as one so critical we acknowledge its special status by sharing it with others. After 14 years, I can finally, officially, welcome you to the Cousin Group Chat. <laughs> My mom kind of tried to ruin that one. We've known each other for so long, but I can certainly say without a doubt that these last five years have been the happiest, happiest of my life. I truly believe that timing is everything, and that we both had experiences and growth we needed to face on our own, but when the timing was right, not even 445 miles could keep us apart. I stand here today not because I want to be your husband in 80 years, but because I want to be your husband every day between now and then. Through the good days and bad, through the good years and the bad, I promise to help nurture our best selves as we grow as both individuals and a couple. I promise to prioritize us. I promise to always make you laugh. I promise to never stop reading and learning with you. I promise to be your memory and remind you of how things really happen <laughs> most of the time. I promise to listen to you when no one else is. I promise to always go on adventures with you to the ends of the earth and to the local ice cream shop. I promise to let you be Yoshi when we play Mario Kart sometimes. I promise to stay young at heart with you as we grow old together, but most importantly, I promise to keep on loving you, always. I can't do that yet. I'm doing it. Okay. <laughs> You're too cute. <laughs> Jeffrey, you knew before I did that you were the gym to my fam. I knew I had so much fun hanging out with you. And that you were there for me for late night talks and for creative ways to celebrate our birthdays. We became great friends and confidants, but there was always this feeling, this knowing, that it was something much more. Bottom line, I wasn't ready in college and had to chase adventures around the world. Even then though, when I lived in different places, we always found ways to be in each other's lives through visits, sharing music, or chats online. We did this again when I moved to Denver and even planned a trip to the Grand Canyon. Who knew this was the adventure we needed to make everything fall into place? Somewhere between the sunset over the canyon and snort laughing coffee out of my nose in Santa Fe, <laughs> I knew this time I was yours. Being friends all these years allowed me to know you and know what I love about you. I love your loyalty to your friends and family, and I love that you're a steady rock that isn't easily broken. I love that your love of animals and kids is important to you and your sense of humor. I love that you allow me to take you on adventures and that you also push me to learn things outside of my interests. I love that we are mostly patient with each other and make a great team. There's no one else I'd want to be my partner in this crazy, chaotic life. We've spent so many years of our lives being friends, but now I promise to not only be your friend, but also your love and your partner forever. I promise to pick you up when you're down with Sweet Carolinas and probably cake or ice cream. 
I promise to take you on crazy food and world adventures and help you continue to grow and explore. I promise to match your wit and your stubbornness and give it right back to you, just to keep you on your toes. I promise I'll try some of your interests like Pokemon, Marvel, and hockey. And I'll try to listen to others like video games and football. But really, I promise to be there when the Cowboys lose and break your heart. <laughs> I promise to make family and traditions a priority in our house. I promise to continue to learn how to be there for you when we inevitably change throughout the years. And when life gets us down, I will help us find joy in puppies, the stars, good music, dancing, and the occasional poop joke. <laughs> Most importantly, I promise to be yours and to choose you every day to be mine always. When Jeff told me he was going to propose. It wasn't a shock at all. It's just so fun to watch you two learn each other's passions, share your activities together, and adventure together. <laughs> There's no one in this world I would rather share a Jackie with than with you. I know you two are going to live happily ever after, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up so far I just expect to expand on those so so much more. Jeff as I told you today earlier I'm very proud of you. I love you very much. Your mom loves you very much. You've made a wonderful life for yourself taking Jackie as your bride and I couldn't be more happy for the both of you. For a, for a father the time comes when you know when you think about your daughter being born and your daughter is born and you look forward to that day when you can really celebrate uh, being the father of the bride. And, and with that, I'd like to offer to this ghost. May you be friends uh, like only lovers can, and may you love each other like only best friends can. When Jeff was in elementary school, well, when we were both in elementary school, we were into animals. I had a thing for sharks. I thought they were so cool. I think I did like three back-to-back -back science fair projects on sharks. Jeff, though, was into penguins, as his socks show. And we all know that penguins made for life. This penguin here has found an awesome woman to build a life with, and somewhat dressed as a penguin today. <laughs> With great honor, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. May I present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Jeff Creo and Jackie Zvenix.